Good morning. Happy Monday. I'm headed to the Adidas callback right now. So gonna tuck Vinny in his little man cave, his kennel, and head on over to Hollywood. That's where the audition is today. Wearing the Adidas sports bra again in off-elite shorts, which are like high-waisted and to make everything look nice and nice and good. So let's hope it goes well. It's gonna go well, I know it will. I pulled over because I'm headed home and I had to update you guys really quickly. So I just got out of the audition about 10 minutes ago and guys, it could not have gone better. So you walk in the room and it's a massive like warehouse room and there's a whole panel of, you know, I say judges cause I come from competing and that's what it looked like. But like probably like 15 or so people there with little notes and clipboards, you know, making notes and choosing who they want. And so you go up there, you hold your name, you know, say, you know, my name's Emily Hayden to the camera and then and they asked you like what you're good at, what you do. And then they were like, all right, show us some moves, show us some, you know, jumps and box jumps and whatever. So I was like, all right, so I start doing it. And in the middle of doing it, it was just like so effortless. And I was just like, I was literally born for this. I could do this all day long. And they started laughing and they were like, we can tell. And they go, can you run? And I go, I love to run. Would you like me to jog or sprint? And they were like, eh. and I was like, I'll do both. So I jog away from them. And then on purpose, just for like the effect of it, I sprinted straight towards the judging panel and stopped right before I got there. And I was like, again, and they were like, no, no, we're good. You're good. Thank you. <laughs> so honestly could not have gone better I am stoked after that audition because it, like I said I've done all I can do it's in God's hands now so if it's mine it's mine and I'm just like so happy to be here that was such a good experience and uh, I'll let you guys know if slash when I get the phone call It's about 5, 10 p.m. I try to get here at 5 most days and I train 5 to 7. I'm not training the entire time. I usually do about 45 minutes to an hour, 15 minutes of an actual lift. And then the rest of it is cardio and then some transition time, saying what's up to friends, stuff like that. So my gym time is 5 to 7 p.m. every day. Uh, right now, my mind is kind of like everywhere. I have a lot on my plate at the moment. So it's all really good things, things I don't need to stress or worry about because I know like it all gets taken care of. But it's uh, really good for me to come in here and do cardio just to clear my mind. So I'm going to clear my mind and then get started on leg day and patiently waiting, not so patiently, for a phone call. We'll, we'll see. So that's it for right now. I'll see you guys after my lift. number one for the day is 138 grams of egg whites, one whole egg, and two packets of maple and sugar oat fit. Very delicious. I'm going to drink some water. Then that's when I'll take my vitamins. So I got these out earlier to show you guys, but I take them after I eat meal number one or else my stomach is like a little too sensitive for all of that. And if you didn't see, this is the apple juice lemonade BCA. So I put one scoop of each, which is very delicious in my jug. So Gonna eat that up and get to work. It is now about nine in the morning and I am about to do my travel assistant interviews. So a bunch of people applied. There's quite a few per every location. I did narrow it down from the emails, but I'm still interviewing a few people from each location. So I have a ton of phone calls back to back. I'm gonna go ahead and get to those. And then hopefully, I'm, I'm hoping it provides me some clarity with who I wanna hire. Because honestly, I was reading through the emails and I was like, yes, I wanna choose her. And then I'd read the next one for the same location. I'd be like, dang it, I wanna give it to her. And then again and again, I was just like, ugh. So I narrowed it down from the emails. 
gonna do the FaceTime interviews, see who I feel like I kind of get good vibes from, who I vibe with, who I think would be a good fit, and then I'm gonna make decisions today and tomorrow. So I'll see you guys after a million phone calls. I'll show you my setup. I have my coffee, I have my candle, and I'm wearing joggers. <laughs> Wear my athlete joggers. And first form tank. And that's it, fam. All right, first one is the Columbus tour assistant interview, number one of four. Hi. Hi, how are you? How are you? Good, how are you? Good, nice to meet you. Okay, so your name is Anna Laurie? Annie Laurie. Yeah. Annie Laurie, okay, I wasn't sure how to say it. Yeah, okay, so you live in Columbus, Ohio. Okay, so tell me a little bit, first of all, so it's nice to meet you and like put a face to your email. Your email was great. Hi. How are you? I'm Emily, you're Jade, right? I just kind of wanted to like see you in person and hear a little bit about yourself. Okay. I like because I can build relationships with the patients. So mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm excited to have the opportunity. I haven't even noon yet, and I've already been to Salt Lake City, Utah, Denver, uh, Columbus, San Antonio, and Dallas. What? That's a lot. So I'm eating my next meal, by the way. Everyone is amazing and I have no idea how I'm going to choose anyone. <laughs> it's going to be very difficult. But I'm eating my next meal and I wanted to show you guys what it was because it's delicious. It is Hawaiian pizza by Icon Meal. So this meal is 14 fat, 36 carbs, and 16 protein. Very filling meal and it's absolutely delicious. On the side, I'm having half of a Kavita. This is the lemon and ginger. It's a sparkling probiotic drink. It's actually very tasty and very good for your gut health. There are 11 carbs per half serving. So I'm having 11 carbs added to this meal for a probiotic, which is healthy and great for your gut. And disgusting, I did not wash my egg thing from earlier. Hashtag I'm human, I don't always wash it right away, especially if I'm late for a call. I wasn't late, but I was almost late. Monkey's having his next meal too, so I'm so hungry. Nom, 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 nom. Pretty much devoured that pizza and I still wanted something else, so I also got a tomato basil rice cake, and on top of that put honey smoked turkey, and it's incredible. So yummy. The tomato basil rice cakes, by the way, are just so bomb. I literally ate four yesterday just because they were so good. And I believe they're like still only 70 carbs. Let me check for you. They are eight carbs. Yes, so eight carbs. They're absolutely incredible if you can find them. This is like if you crave chips and stuff like that, you can just eat on these and say that you eat like four rice cakes, 28 carbs. Wait, it's eight carbs times four, 32 carbs rather than eating like a whole bag of chips and it being a bunch of like fat and carbs. So low calorie, great snack. Tips from Emily. For real though, I snack on these all the time. Look how much tomato and basil seasoning is all over it. So delicious. I just got an email from my agent. Drum roll. I did not get the part. <laughs> And I'm really excited to share this with you guys because I'm really glad that I put all this out there on social media from getting the audition to getting the call back to making it to like the final round. I, I made it all the way. My agent said, you know, the email that you get whenever you realize that you didn't get the part, you know, the agent said, we've been released. You made it to the end, so you did your part. On to the next one. Uh, and here's the thing, guys. I feel like I've been preparing for this my entire life. My entire life. Do you know how many times I've been told no before I was told yes? And it's not even, I don't even see it as a no anymore. I just see it as a not yet. Do I think I'm capable of landing a job like that or some sort of spot like that? 1000%. I think if I didn't believe in myself or think that I was capable of doing it, I don't think I would have even made it as far as I made it. And the thing is, I fully believe that whatever you believe in for yourself, it will manifest, it will happen. Does it mean it's going to happen on the first time? Most cases for me and my experiences, no. I know other people where it seems like it happens for them just like this or happens for them like that, but that's not really what's common in my experience. In my life, everything has always been just a grind, a hustle. What's even cooler is the fact that this process that I've done right here, believing in myself, going after what I wanted, being told no initially, I've just been relentless in my pursuit of whatever I wanted and I get it every single time. So far it's been a 100% success rate in my life. So you better believe I'm gonna be relentless in my pursuit of these goals and these dreams and these visions that I have my, for myself. I am putting it out there right now 110%, I will land some badass gigs 
don't you worry. It, it was a not yet this time and there's some other girl in LA that just got the email that said, girl, you got the part and she's jumping for joy and like I actually feel excited inside and happy inside for whoever that person is. Like that is so cool, that is awesome. And I, I'm able to do that because I understand that like my day is coming, I promise. So guys, don't be afraid to put yourself out there. Don't be afraid of failure. People on Instagram were like, I think it's so cool that you boldly put this out there. And I haven't told Instagram that I didn't get the part yet. I think I'm gonna make them come to my YouTube channel. <laughs> um, but I'm not scared to put it out there. I'm not scared of quote unquote failing. I don't even see it as failing by not getting the job. I just see it as a door closed. The door was closed. 10 more doors are gonna open. I fully believe and manifest in the world. I believe in God. I believe in what's coming for me. I believe in all the opportunities that are coming. This does not dishearten me at all. Am I disappointed a little bit? Sure. It would have been like so freaking cool to go work on that job this week and I was kind of getting excited. I was believing in it for myself. I was like, this is happening. I feel like you have to be that way in order to even be able to receive that in your life. So of course, guys, it would've been so much fun to go do that. I'm a little disappointed. I'm like, damn it, I'm not disheartened in the least bit. I'm not uh, slowed down, I'm not, none of that. My spirit is like even more invigorated, even more like hype and excited. On my Instagram story, people were like, damn girl, you were so hype. Like I feel your energy through the, through the phone, through the stories. And I'm glad, I, I hope I can transfer that energy to you guys because it's exhilarating for me. I've I learned a lot from this experience. One, that I'm doing what I should be doing. This is definitely supposed to be a part of my life. The excitement that I get from it, the joy, the, the feeling that I get from it is something that is just incredible. I love it. I love from the second that I get the email where I got an audition to where you know I, I get the call back and then I made it to the final round and then they're double checking they double checked last night that I was still available so it's like all these you know good signs and then last minute you didn't get it guys that's life you got to learn to you got to learn to get that email that says you didn't get it You're like okay cool like complete peace and keep going and push harder even Oh, I'm like, I'm, it's kind of like when I was going for my pro card and I did seven national shows and I came running up to my pro card over and over and everyone would be like, you got it, you got it, you got it. And I fully believed in it for myself. I was like, I know I have it, you know, but I didn't, you know, I never put pressure on any certain date or any certain uh, pro card national show, you know, or any job in this sense. I didn't put pressure on that because I knew it was mine regardless. I knew I would get it. I knew I would get it and I did. So guys, I can repeat the same process in this same scenario. I will get those badass jobs, I promise you. And uh, I'm excited to share what same, some may view as a failure. I view it as a learning experience. I could not have done any better in my auditions. I couldn't have presented anything better. I gave it 100%, my energy was there, my attitude was there, I had fun with it. I got to meet the, I call it judging panel because I come from competing, but really it's just like the casting director, the director, all the, all the people with ideas. I got to meet all of them, which I think is so freaking cool. I had them laughing and engaged the whole time. Like, it's just my thing like it's fun it's my thing and uh, this doesn't dishearten me at all so I hope that by me sharing this with you guys and kind of getting you guys hyped and excited I feel like maybe some of you guys are gonna be, are gonna be a little disappointed for me because I know a ton of you were like super stoked too but I hope by sharing this experience that when you go after something that you want and you're told no or you're told not yet that you can embody the same type of mindset, the same type of attitude because if you're able to do this, I guarantee you'll get it. I guarantee you'll get it. It might not be in the exact timing that you wanted. It might not be the first time. It might not be the third time. It might not be the fifth, sixth, or seventh time. Maybe it's the tenth time that you get it, the thirtieth time that you get it. The point is, you will get it if you relentlessly pursue whatever it is that it's in your heart. This is in my heart. This is in my vision. It's what I see for myself and it's going to happen. So thank you guys so much for all of your love, your support, your well wishes, your prayers, your good vibes, your energy. It's so much appreciated and I feel so thankful that I have you guys along the journey with me. So that's it. I actually wanna wrap up this video here because I wanna post it by tomorrow morning or tomorrow afternoon-ish. So again, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you learned something, please share it with a friend. I would really appreciate that. Don't forget to go to tourwithemilyhayden.com. I have all my tour dates for the free meetup 
meetups as well as the posing clinic and seminar. Guys, if you are going to attend the free meetup and you, you're not interested in the competing seminar or the posing clinic, but you know somebody who would be that's in your area, I would greatly appreciate it. Greatly appreciate it. If you guys would share just with one competing friend that I'm doing posing clinic and a seminar, I'd really love to get those booked out and getting your help would honestly help me out so much. So thank you for everything that you guys do. Uh, you guys help me do what I do. So it's an awesome thing that we can do together here. Here we have four ounces of cod, half cup of white rice, four ounces of broccoli, all with liquid aminos on top. Alternative for soy sauce. My next meal is absolutely delicious. It is Icon Meals turkey chili, which is the turkey chili and rice. And then I also have some Brussels sprouts that I cooked in coconut oil, salt, and pepper. Very delicious, well-rounded meal. Last meal of the day is my protein ice cream with peanut butter vanilla Icon Meals popcorn on top. Absolutely delicious. My ice cream is level one. I do different flavors and different kind of combinations every night. But this one I did the OG with some PB Fit. With the OG is the level the OG is the level one ice cream sandwich flavor. This is a flavor I've been using for literally years. If you go to, to like my first YouTube videos, you'll see I was using this then. Uh, literally, I swear by it. Best protein ever. Mix is the best. I do one scoop of this, eight ounces of cashew milk, and a ton of ice. And that's the base of it. And then depending on the macros you have left, I'll get fancy with it. I'll put like some PB Fit in there. Uh, or I'll make like a vanilla ice cream one or a chocolate peanut butter cup. Put like chocolate stuff in there. It just all depends on my macros. I didn't have that many left for the night. So I just did the basic recipe, a little bit of PB fit, and then the popcorn toppings. That is going to wrap up my full day of eating. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.